and her three best friends. This miracle, Amy and Benjamin. She's one of a kind, she's never the same. A personality as sweet as a name. She's cake, no matter what you see. She'll teach you how to make it on KTV. She's cake, whatever she makes. You got what it takes, so come on. bottle caps, some seed beads, and some charms. What could you possibly make from that? You won't believe your ears when you watch today's episode of Cake TV. <laughs> wow, Miracle. I can't believe you are actually going camping. Are you kidding? Ew! Nature's filled with dirt. And dirt is just so dirty. <laughs> well, true, but I like digging in the dirt. It makes me feel at one with the world. Pass me flower. See what I mean? This flower would be perfect if it hadn't had all those squiggly roots poking into all that dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're just different by nature. And speaking of nature, if you're not going camping, what are you doing? I'm going to camp. <laughs> well, that clears things up. I'm going to be a pampered camper at Camp Glamorama. They teach you all kinds of fashion secrets, nail polish techniques, hair tips and tricks. Oh, it's a dream come true. <laughs> Almost sounds like Camp Glamorama was designed personally for you. I know, right? Two weeks of pure heavenly bliss. Two weeks? Wow, that's a long time. I'm gonna miss you, Mir. Rake thingy. <sighs> Thanks. Oh, Amy, can you pass me that watering can? <laughs> Thanks. Hmm, no soil. Hey, Amy, could you give me that little uh, bag of soil over there? Why do I have to do everything? Because I'm the youngest? Amy, are you okay? I'm just really Frustrated. My mom won't let me get my ears pierced. I'm tired of these silly stick-ons. I want danglies and hoops. <laughs> she treats me like I'm a baby. Well, truthfully, Amy, I think your mom is right. I had to wait until I was 13 to pierce mine. Me too. I'm so glad I waited. Me and Miracle went together and held hands. Remember, Mir? How can I forget? Ow! <laughs> I'm totally glad I waited. Well, I think I'm old enough. Well, we're not saying you're not, but I think that's kind of up to your mom. Besides, you'll be 13 before you know it. That's enough! <laughs> Cheer up, Amy. I have an idea. Why don't we all go see that new thriller that just opened? The House on Smoggy Hill. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds amazing. I would love to go. I would love to go, too. Cool! <laughs> Ooh, it's rated PG-13, Amy. You'll have to get permission from your mom first. <laughs> What, was it something I said? No, she's just got a bad case of baby blues. Poor Amy. Oh, uh, yeah, poor Amy. I know how that feels. Oh, oh, do you have that thing I was going to borrow? What thing? Thing? You know, Grandma Crystal's thing that you wanted to give me. <gasps> oh, that thing, of course. Well, I'd love to stay, but I gotta get to dance class. Hope things work out with you two. See ya. Bye. Bye. Do you think she caught on? Miracle? Nah. nah. <laughs> Follow me. I can't believe Grandma Crystal's going on an African safari for two months. Doesn't that sound just so thrilling? That's awesome, Cake. You know, I would love to document that. I know you would, <laughs> but I'm so thankful you're doing this party for me. Aww, Thanks, Bee. Of course. Anytime. I'm really going to miss her. Oh, she's going to love this party. Benjamin, thank you so much for helping out. Not a problem, Cake. I love doing it. No one has ever thrown her a surprise party without her finding out. Yay, a surprise party for me. <laughs> I swear she's almost psychic. So don't tell anyone. Don't even think it. My lips are sealed. They're the best. A going away party for me. I better go figure out what to wear. <laughs> okay, no, 
Now, don't forget, Mum's the word to Miracle and Amy until the day before the party. Like I said, Grandma Crystal is practically a mind reader, so the fewer people who know, the better. Promise? I swear on a stack of stock portfolios. Weird. <laughs>《Shooting your grandma Crystal's surprise party in black and white. You know, give it that artsy look. I don't think so, B. It's a party. I'm thinking lots of color. Alrighty then. How about no sound? Just subtitles. Very European. Like it? Hmm. <laughs> Creative, but I think my grandma Crystal will want to hear personal messages from the guests and the music. <gasps> I got it. How about music video style? You know, fast cuts, Dutch angles, grainy filters. Well, I actually was thinking more of like, you know, old fashioned home video style. Mm. Oh, with a touch of Benjamin, of course. Hello, are you there? Is that Amy? <laughs> we'll be right out. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Um, hello. By the way, I no longer answer to Amy. However, you may call me Miss Carson. Okay, Miss Carson, <laughs> but why the change? Yeah. Well, I no longer wish to be treated like a child. However, I would very much like to be treated like an adult, like you guys. Okay. Well, Amy, I, I mean, Miss Carson, we're far from adults. Very far. <laughs> but I do understand how you feel. I mean, I think we've all felt like we were being treated like kids from time to time. We still do. Absolutely. And being an adult is not all that's cracked up to be. At least that's what my dad's always saying. What do you mean? <laughs> well, Miss Carson, with age comes responsibility. And who wants that? I want more responsibility. Anything wrong with that? Well, for starters, adults have to work, pay bills, clean their clothes. Wait, I don't want to be that kind of adult. I want to be the other kind. The one that doesn't get bossed around. The one that can stay up as late as she wants. The one that can get her ears pierced whenever she wants. Sorry, Miss Carson, but those two adults are one and the same. Really? Isn't there an adult light version? <laughs> nice try. Hi, people. What hey. a surprise. You're all here. Oh, uh, well, yes, but not for long. Uh, in fact, we were just about to leave, right, Kate? Uh, yes, uh, you were going to uh, finish uh, some errands. Right. And, and I was going to uh, go fold some laundry. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye, see you. Ah, uh, fold some clothes. OK, got you. Have fun, whatever you're doing. I'm just gonna chill here with my pal, Amy. It's Miss Carson. <laughs> Miss Carson? Why? I wish to be treated like an adult. Gotcha. <laughs> so, Miss Carson, anything special going on Friday night? As a matter of fact, yes. Really? I am attending a gallery opening with Mother. <laughs> oh, right, very adult. So. Anything you want to get off your chest? Well, actually, yes. Oh, thought so. Go ahead, tell me. I'm all ears. Well, this whole adult thing I don't get. I just want to get my ears pierced, and now Benjamin's talking to me about paying bills? I don't get it. I know. I hear you loud and clear. Growing up is hard sometimes. So, anything else special going on? Uh-huh. You know, like in Government Today, I learned there are more than two parties. Isn't that a surprise about the parties? <laughs> hey, Miracle, want to hear a secret? Yes, I do. You're acting really weird. <laughs> Hi, Cake. You finished folding the clothes for your mom so quickly. Wow. You're a fast folder. <laughs> yeah, uh, most of them were shorts, you know, really quick. <laughs> anyway, um, I came up with a really great craft for this week's Cake TV. Oh, wonderful. Pray tell, what is it? 
Well, Miss Carson, I was inspired by your little ear issue, and I decided to make dun -da 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 -da! cakes, cool clip-ons. I love earrings. I bet they make perfect gifts. <laughs> of course, Miracle. They make great gifts. I mean, if you had someone you needed a gift for anytime soon. Are you okay, Miracle? Totally, why? Because, I don't know, you're just acting really jumpy and like you're excited about something. Should I be? Uh, not that I know of. Then I'm not. Are you sure? Are you sure? Sure about what? Sure that I shouldn't be? Shouldn't be? Excited? And you know, you said it. I am totally confused. I know. Know what? Miracle, what are you talking about? Okay, you're awesome. Never mind. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> anyway, back to the cake TV craft. Cakes, cool clip-ons. They're earrings for girls who don't have their ears pierced. You mean I'm not the only one? Of course not. Lots of girls and women don't have their ears pierced and love to wear clip-ons. They do? Sure, and they're great to wear on your belts or bags or anything you can think of, even your blouses and coats. Sounds exquisite. They sound like the perfect accessory to bring with me when I go away to Camp Glamorama. Don't you think? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm so excited. Let's make sure we have everything we need for the show. Miss Ross and Miss Carson, at your service. Follow me. Let's see. We have earring clips. Correct. Glue and bottle caps. All here. Gems, rhinestones, glitter. Gems, rhinestones, glitter. I love the blue and green beads. In case anyone was wondering. <laughs> you can use a miracle. <gasps> really? Okay, sure. Don't mind if I do. These clip-ons are going to be cake-tastic. <laughs> well, that's no surprise. <laughs> Creative World of Cake TV. Today we're gonna have lots of fun making one of my favorites, Cake's Cool Clip-Ons. Clip-On earrings are back in a big way. They are super versatile and totally work for the youthful look that Miracle is sporting, as well as the more mature look carried by Miss Carson. They make great gifts too, so let's get it started. But before we do, what time is it? It's party time! to remember on Cake TV. P-A-R stands for permission always required. That means if you're gonna alter an item like clothes or old jewelry, check with your parents first. And if you're younger, like me, make sure there's an adult around when using hot glue guns and sharp scissors. T-Y-T, take your time. Always organize your materials and never rush. Why would you? You're having fun. I-M-E, imagination means everything. Open up your mind and let your creativity flow. Put it all together. party time anytime during today's Cake TV. Just remember these fun and simple hints. Now, let's start the show. I love party time, don't you? <laughs> Who doesn't? Anyway, like I said before, clip-on earrings have really made a comeback. They used to be really popular before ear piercing came along. I was inspired by our Miss Carson here, who is waiting until she turns 13 to pierce her ears, but still wants to wear cute earrings to go with her other cute jewelry. Absolutely, Cake. And did you know that most women don't want their ears to be pierced? It's a personal choice. I did know that. So, are you ready to make Cake's cool clip-ons? Definitely. Definitely. Cool. Here's what we're using. Old pairs of clip-on earrings, like vintage pairs, which are best for altering. You can find old clip-ons at thrift stores, garage sales, or even your mom's or grandma's old junk jewelry. Ask first, though. Instead of starting from scratch, we're gonna add new life to tired old earrings. Like I always say, everything old is new again. 
<laughs> First, find a pair of hanging earrings for pierced ears that you can alter, like these cake. You might want to use some cute beads, fun ribbon, funky trim, pieces of lace, rhinestones, and maybe even bottle caps. If you want to be sparkly, you can use glitter glue or loose glitter. All charms can be adorable. Or should I say, ear adorable? <laughs> now, let's do it. There are lots of ways to alter clip-ons, but I like to choose clip-ons that are simple because the easiest way to freshen them up is just loop new designs onto the original clip, like these. Choose materials that work with your base clip-on, or you can change the base clip-on using paint, glitter, and rhinestones. For instance, you can paint a new color on and sprinkle glitter on the paint while it's wet. Then add rhinestones with glue when it's dry, like we did here. Like love! What do we do with these earrings for our people who have pierced ears, since I won't be wearing them anytime soon? Oh, you'll be 13 soon enough, Amy. Trust me. Anyway, we're gonna use these earrings to create different designs like I showed you. You can change the hanging design and keep the same base. Good for all your different moods and outfits. Perfect, because I have lots of both. <laughs> Here are the steps. Take your earrings that are for pierced ears, like these. Remove the hook by twisting a little bit or using your pliers to spread the loop apart. Find a ring that will slide over the back part of the clip-on. You can get these at a craft store. Connect the ring onto the original earring, then loop onto clip-on. Voila! Make sure your ring is large enough to loop over the back part of the clip earring. Now, this is where you get creative. Find a cute applique or cut a fun piece of lace to attach to your clip-on. Uh-oh, cut, scissors. What time is it? It's party time! <laughs> okay, now look, we've dressed up this applique that Amy's wearing by adding rhinestones and hooked it onto the clip-on. You can also take a gem, a cute button, or a bottle cap and glue it to a bare clip-on like this. Decorate the inside or the outside of the cap. If you decorate the inside, you can have mini 3D pieces that rest inside, or put someone you like inside the bottle cap with some dangling hearts. I heart that. <laughs> those are darling. I mean, those are divine. Thank you, Miss Carson. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I think you're gonna have so much fun making your own clip-ons. They're a piece of cake, and what's mostly required is your imagination. My favorite ingredient. See you next time. And cut. Genius. That's right. Great job, guys. that would go awesome with that. It'd be so cute to wear to a party or something. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, well, I'm out of here. See you guys Friday night. Friday night? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you see, I meant that uh, Friday night is supposed to be uh, a full moon, and it's gonna be uh, very bright, so uh, if I were outside, and, and you were outside too, I would see you uh, uh, Friday night. <laughs> We were talking about that in science class today. Big bright moon. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent visibility. <laughs> guys, guys, it's okay. I know. No? No what? The party. <laughs> you know? <gasps> mm-hmm. Uh, well, we were gonna tell you tomorrow. Well, why would you tell me about my own surprise party? <laughs> Your surprise party? Yes, my surprise party. Don't you mean Grandma Crystal's surprise party? Grandma Crystal's? But I heard you and Benjamin talking about a going away party. Yeah, Grandma Crystal's going away on an African safari for two months. And you're going away to glamour camp. Oh, miracle. No, I'm so no, sorry. it's okay. I just overheard. Forget about it. It's pretty silly to expect a going away party for a two week trip. Sometimes I don't even understand the way I think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it's okay? Of course. Why are we going to tell me about it tomorrow? Oh, well, it's Grandma Crystal. Her intuition is amazing, so we figured the fewer people that knew about it, the better. Well, I don't care. I love parties, no matter whose it is. <gasps> I've got an idea. Let's make it a double party. Miracle, invite your family and friends, and we'll boogie down. <laughs> really? 
Yes. Well, you know what they always say. Two parties are always better than one. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. Hi, hello, everyone. Hey, Amy. Or is that you, Miss Carson? No, it's me, Amy. Well, what happened to Miss Carson? Well, I decided all that growing up stuff is totally immature. And plus, look at this. Kids under 12 get in for free at the fair. I kind of like being my age. There's perks. <laughs> well, <laughs> off to the fair. Hope these earrings don't make me look too old. <laughs> Keep